the door. Yo, I oh. thought I was gonna see some like vaginas. Judge O'Keefe. It's old painting, guys. Some of her paintings looked like vaginas. I wouldn't even say some. I would say most of the ones I've seen. <laughs> uh, oh. Everyday items, her surroundings. Yeah, okay, so she, uh, Judge O'Keefe graduated from, um, from Columbia, and, um, her, kind of her focus seemed to be, at least, uh, American modernism. But it wasn't the same. Uh, yeah, it was. It was the same subject, but it was different every time. The light was different, her mood was different, she yeah. saw something new every time she painted it. Yeah, but you have to step into the mind of an artist. Guys, um, so there's a mountain, um, it is, uh, somewhere near... Uh, Via Nueva del Trabuco in Spain, guys, right? And there's a mountain. I have photographed this mountain so many times. Um, it's the same photo. Trust me, guys. Same photo, but there there's subtle differences. Um, and you just keep going back to that very specific spot. Every time you go there, you go to that very specific spot to get that same exact photo because you want that photo to be perfect. That's your... That's your your end game, right? That's what you're going to print gigantically on a metal print and put that into your house. That's going to be your centerpiece, right? Um, there are, in fact, subtle differences. And once it's perfect, in my mind, I will stop going to this very specific location, right? And uh, I will, in fact, be done with it. But until then, no, 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 I'm photographing it probably a thousand more times. Be mad. The whole SD card, same exact photo. I know. So? I guess the um, the cow skull pictures were cool, but... Pictures. The door? <sighs> Say it again. Pictures are what you nonchalantly take with your cell phone. All right? Uh, they take no skill. You push a button. That's, a, that's that picture you created. All right? Um, but either way... Sometimes you get fixated on something, and you might not even get why. Exactly. Open yourself up and go with the flow wherever the universe takes you. Okay, All right. So 20 times until it was perfect. Yes. No, I wouldn't say that. That's how it works. That's how exactly. That's how it works. The reason why I'm telling you this, the image that I'm that I've been working on for for years now, um, It'll never be done, and I know it. That's why I'm saying I'm gonna take thousands more. Um, I'm sure if I was to give the photo to people to kind of look at and be like, you know what, that's a solid piece of, that's, that's some solid imagery right there, right? I'm sure people will be like, you know, great photo, let's go print it. But for me, I'm like, it's not good enough, right? Maybe the cloud coverage is wrong, right? This, the shadows are crazy, time of day was bad, right? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Wow. Oh, it was so sweet. I think I threw up in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you can't admit just for once that I'm right. Ew. Come on. That O'Keefe lady kept... That means she swallowed it, guys. And then, and then you kissed her. It was so... To me, that's about making that feeling last. Guys, I like how she speaks about art, guys. I'm guessing she was an art major. I'll tell you this. There are not many people we can sit here and have conversations with about art all day long. Not really. Right? But all right. Ah, so all of this, all of this to go back to the last episode where he picked up the, uh, the butt of the cigarette here. Noted. This was the memory that he uh, instantly uh, recalled. Don't touch him. Take me out. Come on, it's supposed to hurt. Pain is weakness leaving your body. Pain is my foot in your ass, Marie. Hey, if you can get your leg up that high, I say go for it. Take me up. Take well, why would you say that to your wife? That's that's such a that's a terrible thing to say to your wife, Hank. Yeah. All right, coffee break. We're gonna let you rest. For <clears throat> I didn't take you for a quitter, yeah, Hank. Come on, Uncle Hank. You can do it. You gonna get me out of here sometime today? Guy? Hmm. Prepare yourself. <laughs> Show us. How much is it? Guys, I almost never want to see this lab again. I'm just going to be honest. This is a really good, like, bioneural uh, 
um, like recording that's going on right now also. Because Walt isn't an idiot, Jesse. Jesse, listen, he obviously knows exactly what you're doing. He knows what you're doing. He's just trying to keep you alive, sir. Back when I first started coming to meetings. Walk with who you it's are. It's probably just a different way of saying be yourself. We're here at group, a couple new faces. See some hands. First time. A lot of new faces. Hey, welcome. Then. You can be as open and honest as you want to be. She has the main character vibes, guys. Like, I think she was casted for a reason. I don't want to be here. Yeah, she has the bone structure of a main character. Hmm. Yeah, bro, touch all the... <sighs> oh, my God. I'm sorry. What do you mean? How much have you sold? I sold a tenth. One tenth? That's it? What unit of measure is this? I've, the first time I've ever heard a teeth used before uh, was this movie, not movie, this show. And I still don't really recognize what is the, is it, is it an ounce or is it like a gram or what, what exactly is it? To who? Damn. So I can Google it. You know what? I want it back. All of it. I'll sell it myself. Okay. Teeth, often called Teener uh, is slang for one sixteenth of an ounce. Okay. Come on, man! Don't be like that. So guys. I'm guessing this product is extremely potent, uh, extremely potent. If that's all that's required, guys. Hmm. Oh, hey. Sorry. No. Go ahead. Yeah, bro. The casting departments of a lot of these movies and shows are entirely too predictable. They're too predictable. That's how you can always tell the main characters. Andrea. Right? Love interest, I'm guessing? Yeah. Hey, um, my name's Jesse. Because obviously we started out with uh, Jane, so now he has to have a, a, a brand new, you know, avenue. Which means I can get my provisional and start driving by myself. Okay. Since when? You don't turn 16 for two months. So both of you start thinking about what kind of car you want to buy me. Mm. I think I'd be good with either an old IROC or a Stang. <laughs> uh, IROC Z? Choose the IROC. The Mustang? No, no. No Mustang. Okay, wait. How about this? Wait. Wait. I'm lying. It could be a Mustang, but it needs to be specific, you know, very specific Mustangs. Mainly like any of the Shelbys. We, we can have a conversation about that. Uh, or less just like like a Fox body. Uh, okay, wait, you can have a Mustang. Never mind, forget it. I was just gonna hate on it because it was Ford, but either way, right? But you can have a Mustang, but I would prefer you to go for the old, like late 80s um, the, ugh, IROC. Go for the IROC, bro. I'm telling you. That's the one right there. All right. That is absolutely the one. We should probably table this discussion for later. Your dad and I have a couple of things we need to talk about, so. Oh. Okay. A 1971 Mark 1. Oh, listen, he has, I'm going to be honest. He may have some of the best choices in cars I've ever seen in my entire life. All right. To let you guys know, I understand that this is written for him. Just understand the person who wrote this may have some of the best choices. In guys, make sure it's the yellow one. The 71, the Mach 1, make sure it's the yellow one. You know, If you know, you know. All right? <sighs> that's, that's fantastic. Mach 1. A Mach. And grab her lime with a shaker. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm. Staying. Okay. It has to be unimpeded. When it reaches Hank and Marie. And it is. It will be. But how do I know that? I mean, apparently you can't even tell me the man's name. Why would he? Jesus. Skylar, do you really want to know? <coughs> Bro, something tells me this room smells just awkward. Like, I know this. I can. My pants are those. 
Bro, stop coughing right now. I, I, I wouldn't be able to sit here, bro. I'm going to be honest. There's too many people. There's too many people with like interesting backstories. Every single person in here has such a crazily unique backstory that I would not personally be able to sit in this room. I wouldn't be able to. I know it. I know myself. I'd have to. I'd be like, listen, I'm gonna stand outside. You tell me when I can come in, just so I can go straight to the back and and not be bothered with the backstories and the coughing. Okay. <coughs> I I think he's sick. He's gonna pass it to me. He's gonna pass it to everybody else, guys. Hello, welcome. Hey, take uh, your money, uh, represented uh, by say Saul. these jelly beans. Uh, you know, I'm I, a bookkeeper, uh, so I actually I know what money laundering. is. Uh-huh. Well, huh. uh, we declared just enough so as not to arouse suspicion Then Walt's one-time winnings become seed money for an investment. Investment in what? Drumroll, please. Wait for it. Laser tag. Laser tag? <laughs> Laser tag. Pass. 7,000 square feet of rollicking fun in the heart of Pass. northern Bernalillo County. Pass right now. Laser. Sounds like a cash business, though. But still, pass. There's not a, like he makes way too much money for for them to wash money through a laser tag facility. Tag. Walt suddenly decided to invest in laser tag just out of the blue. Really? That's what we're supposed to tell people, our family, our friends. She may be a criminal mastermind, guys. The government. Okay, look. Smelt that coming. Pretty obvious. Even if I wasn't, I'm not supposed to. Yeah. Can we I move on from this now, please? And over. See, the thing is. Not to get caught. You ever try that blue stuff that's going on? Bro, Jesse. Jesse, you you're pretty much you are you are oh, this this moment here in time absolutely is changing. Well, I guess it's not really changing my perception of you. It's pretty low in the first. Like him and Walt might, yeah, you're right. But <laughs> this is making it even worse. Like she has no interest in it. Yet you're trying to consistently push it onto her. I mean, I get it. I I heard the conversation he and the two guys had. I get that. Um, he's just trying to sell some product. But is she really someone? You're at her house right now. Like, is she really someone that can? Do you think she has enough float to purchase enough of what you're trying to sell, bro? It's no. You know, and I know that's not the truth here. She can't. So all you're doing is ruining her life. That's it. Mommy, mommy, hey, baby. Mommy. Oh, you're not enough brought you home early. Bro, Jesse, get out of this house. Get out right now. She's obviously doing this for her kid, and you are. Grandma, I thought you were keeping bra. He's like a sponsor. Jesse, she's grandma. A bad sponsor. Sin vergüenza. Bach is gonna go play in his room while the big people talk. He's gonna go play with his Legos and his cars. Say bye, Jesse. Bye, Jesse. Yeah, like, like as in bye, Jesse. Get out the house. Let her. You gonna put you gonna put the kid in the room to, to to for for the purpose of what exactly? Why why does the kid have to go play so the big people can talk? What you should be doing is getting this man out of your house. But you know. What do I know? My grandma's. Oh, I think. And safe and cautious is you not being involved in this at all. Well, it's a little late on that. This is what happens when you decide to pay our bills with drug money. Our? Our? Interesting. If you're going to launder money, Walt, at least do it right. That's a heavy door. You worked here four years. It's a business you understand. It's a story people will believe. I want to say thank you to the person who spoiled me, right? And um, and said, you know what they're going to do? They're going to buy a car wash. 
Thank you. Not laser tag. This. This is what we buy. And then they were like, that's not what's going to happen. I'm guessing they're going to buy the car wash. You. This is what you buy. She said, we. Now you. And now she's crying for some reason. Somewhat inexplicable. Dude needs to come into the fold. Nope. Hey, you know what? I have magical powers. You want to see? Yeah, I'm not sure you should make Jesse daddy so fast. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be honest here. You should get to know him a little bit more before you full blown allow him around your kid. All right, you may not like that personally. All right, um. If you, if you understood, he's trying to get you to purposely use narcotics. Purposely. That's science and stuff. Makes it do that. Hello again. Did I just eat his dinner, Brock? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Bro, did you go to what a place that is making tacos and get the hard shell? Okay. Let's see it again. Come on. Eat your food, Brock. Fire tricks with firecrackers. Hey, that's mine. That's it. That's what you want to buy. There was a kid, um, with the the guy who, uh, oh, what am I talking about, bro? Earlier, uh, it was like Jesse's friend. There was a kid that was on a bike, and he was like throwing firecrackers. People will believe it. Is that Tomas? Let me tell you something. If you're committed enough, you can make any story. I once convinced a woman that I was Kevin Costner, and it worked because I believed it. It has <laughs> nothing to do with the story. Right. Besides, this will look the other way to keep his dream afloat. In other words, Danny can be trusted completely. That guy, the guy with the, uh, the eyebrows that won't quit, is he a Danny? I mean, listen. He has some, some expert level, you know... Eyebrows. That's that's a factual statement. I didn't even notice it till right now. You buy this place, all you got is a big building that squirts water. You got no Danny here. You want to see for dinner? Yeah. What is this like? Day three? I um, thought maybe if you're holding, we can do something. What? You know that. Blue stuff you were talking about? Congratulations, Jesse. I had a line on some. You're the one who brought it up the other day. Yeah, that was before I found out you got a kid. What kind of mother are you? Oh, ho, 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 ho. That's what you heard me. What kind of mom gets wasted with a little kid to take care of? I mean, listen, he's right. Period. There's nothing else that could be said other than the fact that Jesse's actually right for the first time in the history of, like, ever, apparently, right? But I'm not sure you say that out loud, but but you did start this. Like, you were here to do this to her until you found out she had a kid, apparently. She's not going to like that. Mm -mm. No, nope. I won't let what happened to Tomas happen to my son. I'll die first. Tomas. Sorry. Little brother. What happened to what, this, what happened to Tomas? What happened? Your little brother. I just look. I was out of line talking about that stuff. No, you were in line. You were in line. They sorta of took Tomas in. Okay. They got Tomas slinging. Slinging? Part of some crew. Okay. Then, when he was 10, there's some initiation or something. I mean, somebody. Fireworks. I heard the rumors. Deleting people. I didn't believe it at first. And he told me, yeah, we did it. Good. They gave Tomas a gun. Whew. This is the kid who deleted his friend, no doubt. 
that's how they're tying this in. Because I'm sitting there trying to wonder, like, okay, they are talking about this kid that's not on screen at all, but yet they're not huh, explaining it, right? They're leaving it super cryptic. So. Okay. Oh. Off of Central. Central. Over by the train tracks? Yeah. Just because he was working the wrong corner. Mm. What a crazy revelation. Oh, yeah? Not to my son. Oh. Okay. It will happen again with Tomas, absolutely. Hmm. Tantalizing. That's a crazy reveal, seriously. That you are healthy enough to go home. Oh, I'm healthy enough, huh? Yeah. And you get stronger every day. You don't need to be in a hospital. In hmm. this condition. Yeah, I do. Get that out of my house. I leave this hospital when I walk out of here. You understand? Listen, I understand being proud, right? And all, all this pride, right? But, bro, your life is different now. You have to accept this. This is this is reality for you, Hake. You're going to have to go through a lot of physical training. You're going to. This is life now, Hank. Like he's like he plays the character of such a tough guy, but I'm. He, he's not a tough guy at all, right? Like, I mean, I, I would think that someone who's a, a tough guy would also be mentally tough, right? I don't know. You're going through this. You see what's happened. You, you see what has happened to you, right? You remember getting, getting, you know, your body being penetrated by, by bullets. You remember this, right? Absolutely. You're in this situation because of that. You're going to have to get some type like like mental toughness now, all right? Accept your situation and work on it. Not before. He's like super weak. Danny to run the car wash? Easier said than done. If we're looking for someone trustworthy. Get a Skyler. I bet Walter's shoes are super comfortable. They look comfortable. Me. I'm in this. And if you I'm are. in it, I'm going to do no. it right. You are not in this. You are not We're in married. this. We're married. How am I we not are in not this? We're not married, Skylar. We're divorced. Right? No. Go ahead. I never actually got around to filing the papers. Right. And because you're married, she can't testify against you, bro. Married couples can't be compelled to I testify. Against you. <laughs> she's so good at this. I think she's a criminal mastermind, guys. Wait, that would probably make me a criminal mastermind also by kind of knowing these things. I'm not a criminal mastermind, but she, in fact, may be a criminal mastermind. So there's that. Right. <laughs> well played. Well played. Is that like the first phone call I've ever gotten? <laughs> Go ahead and pick that up. Probably important. What was that? An invitation. Hmm. Okay. Solid symmetry. The numbers are almost symmetrical also, but instead they are in fact 1213. It sounds like a cliche, but indeed it's just like my mother used to make it. Oh, you, bro, you you are doing very well for yourself. I mean, expected though, but still. Why did you invite me here? Walt, you have outside hands. Ew, okay. See, Gus washed his hands. 
grabbed the knife, handed it to Walt. Walt just walked in after touching everything that he's touched since the last time he's washed his hands. And now he's touching raw ingredients. Okay. In this precise combination, the smell of this meal instantly, it brings you back to my child. Basically, it all takes place. No, Walt. Campus. I knew you. I knew it, and I, that's why I love, I love Walt's mind. All right, but that's not what he's asking. Rhetorical question, Walt. Don't quote me on that. I'm, I'm rusty on my biology. Uh huh. That's very interesting. I would like to help you if I could. With? Help me how? started out and made a lot of mistakes you are a wealthy man now and one must learn to be rich to be poor anyone can manage well said very well Advice said do you have for me never make the same mistake twice. get rid of Jesse <laughs> basically Never make the same mistake twice. This is purely Jesse related. Absolutely. Every time you give Jesse a chance, he, he he's good for a little bit and then he just goes off the rails again. All right. And so this, in fact, was the area where Combo was standing right here. The kid on a bike. This, I'm guessing his name is Tomas with the, with the firecrackers. And then the guy that came up was, he was like right here. Uh, the two guys in the car. You tell us, I heard you were the man. Yeah, what you want? Um, Crystal. Monte Carlo. Okay. Hey, yo. That's how it happened. Bro. They're just using kids. Like, for real. All right, guys. This episode was much better. Like, if we compare this to the last episode. Oh, man, come on. This, this is, I'd rather watch this one all day long. Literally. I'll watch this on repeat before I want to watch the last episode again. I don't know what it was. It was just bad. But this one here. Um, we're learning a lot here. So Hank is weaker than I actually thought he was. Thought he was a thought he was a strong man, tough guy, right? He's not. Uh, he he in fact is not. Uh, Skyler is kind of coming back into the fold a little bit. I mean, you know, do your thing, Walt. Whatever. If you are comfortable with that in your life, then do your thing, right? Um, you know, uh, she apparently will end up being the Danny, most likely. Um, what else happened here? Um, I do not like the fact that he is that he initially met that woman and you know trying tried to destroy her life literally but I do respect the fact that he uh, you know kind of came back and was just like you know what your mom let's not do this right and, uh, a little bit of respect still not a lot but a little bit of respect because initially he was trying to absolutely destroy her life. That was the initial, guys. All right? Um, but all right, listen, uh, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. And if you guys would like to see the full-length reaction, it is on Patreon at the second tier. I'll catch you guys later.